Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Learning with Qua. If you want to see how I created this eye look with what I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus because basically it was palette overload because, just because, yeah. Anyways, uh, so join me, see what I got in my uh, palette, uh, or my palette, see what I got in my bag, and then come join me for a look. Anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. to another episode of learning with qua so thank you for joining me as you can see it is cold again so back into hoodies sweaters all that fun stuff because yeah snow before halloween in new mexico i don't think that's like happened in a long like in my long 30 plus years so as you saw from today's title it's going to be Ipsy Glam Bag Plus October Edition, and because October is my birthday, I went a little ham and ordered about $50 of add-ons, which is worth a lot more, which you'll see if you look in the description box below, I'll have all the prices in it. So let's get into our glam bag. Let's see, I think I was able... Nope. So I got this uh, Hey Honey Good Morning face Honey Silk Facial Serum All Day Nourishing for Flawless Skin. And I'm not going to open it yet just because I already have like a whole bunch of stuff in my little mini fridge. And I think I'm going to do a video on my little mini fridge. But here is this. It's a light and luxurious serum and makeup primer and it replenishes and protects your skin so you're ready to take the day. Rich moisturizers and nutrients such as honey, silk, and amino acids, sea buckthorn oil, and vitamin E provide intense moisture and radiantly smooth skin. Apply as needed by itself or under moisturizer. So. Anyway, I've already like pre-moisturized, I've done my eyes, I've done my, I have, so I have an eye cream that I use, and then I have the, uh, like a face cream, and then on that face, so I put the face cream on my fingers, and then I had this other uh, lotion that I add like three pumps to it, and then I have a serum that I add like four drops to it, and then I mix it all together and put it all over my face, and this is why it actually looks all nice and glowy right now. So, first things first. So that'll be getting put away for later use. And then, of course, we have... My dogs are going off one second. That's always fun! Okay, so it's, uh, let's, let's see. Your Magic. It's Ipsy Magic. So October. I know I'm, like, way late, but hey. And then, basically, a little guide thing. I don't like their cardboard inserts. But here's the cool little blag, blag, bag. It says, your magic. And then, you got a cool little astrology thing here with, you know, lips, lipstick, a brush, a heart, ipsy, a moon, mascara, and foundation or something like that. So, I was all excited. And then... I order a whole bunch of palettes, like, because you're given the choice and everything, so, yeah, and I don't know what my choices were and what my add-ons were, so all that'll be down in the description below, too. So, let's just, like, go into, oh, this one was an add-on, I know this, this is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm, and I don't know if I have it up here or not, one second, okay. So, 
This is the palette, the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm. And so we do have a mirror, so let's go like this. Here is this palette. And I did find, I don't know if I got this, I believe I got it in BoxyCharm. So we got Celestial Thunder in the BoxyCharm, which as you can see, I've used it a few times. So we can see, let's see, we can see the difference of the two palettes. Like loose, Lucid Dream is the same, Ethereal Light, Zero Gravity, Mystic Ice, Um, storm dust, and then we got some extra colors. So I don't know. I was like, oh, cool. I was like, a mini and a full size palette of that can't go wrong. And I know I didn't pay full price for all this stuff, but yeah. So super excited about that. So that was this is the first palette. Um, and like I said, I have the little mini. Next palette up is this, I think this was an add-on also, it's the, I think it's called Duce, or Duce, Duce, I do say, Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette, and it doesn't say, like, the name of it or anything, so, I always like the Duce, you know, palette, any, their shadows, all their stuff, so here is what this palette looks like really pretty just you know basic basic palette I love stuff like this so hey score for me especially I'm like happy birthday to me happy birthday to me and let's see next up is this Violet Voss Creme Brulee fun size palette so let's see Come out of the box, please. The whole box wants... There we go. And here's the back of the palette. Or the back of the box. Here is the little palette. It's like a little baby palette. Fun size palette. So, coming up close to Halloween. So, hey. I wish I had money to, like, do that. But here's the colors. Really pretty. A lot of glitters. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, hey. We've got a half and half right there. Oh, one second. My brother just walked in. Okay, next up, this was a palette that I chose. I was like given like three palette options and I think I took all of them. So, this is the Jewel Smith Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. And this is... A little mini palette so here is what it looks like it's like real light and everything let's see no mirror and it comes with these colors so they're pretty like you know it's like a pinky purple a mauvey purple and yeah basic palette I guess um, I don't know. Next up, we have ooh the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I think they actually chose this for me, and this is sample, not for sale. So I'm cool with that. I don't care. I was like, I've been wanting one of these for a while. So here is the package Let's see. we open it up you get your little soft ooh that's really soft I don't know how I feel about putting powder on with it though and then of course it's sealed in there let's see what else do we have oh I ordered a blending brush from, I guess the brand is, I don't know, I guess it's Queen. 
but I like it. It's actually, you know, somewhat dense and everything. It's like still not like super packed, but it is dense. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got excited. Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions Palette. I'm gonna try and see if I can like get like this whole collection through add-ons so that way I don't have to pay full price. But here is the emerald colors. They're actually like quite beautiful. Let's see. And the ones that I have are So I now have four, and we've got Emerald, Mauve, Ruby, and Sapphire Obsessions. So like I said, through add-ons, you're able to uh, up your game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next up, actually I think this is the last thing in the bag. So this is, a I think I chose this. This is Lovecraft Beauty Palette. And... Uh, Let's see, this is uh, Basic Rituals. So uh, I think there were like a whole bunch of different variations of this palette. And I'm actually like pretty... Let me take this plastic off. I was actually like pretty impressed with this color story. Well, it's a pretty color story, very basic, but I like it. So that is what I have received and ordered and everything else for my October Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Next up I am going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and prime my eyes and we are going to jump into one of these palettes. Let's figure out which one. Welcome back, welcome back. We are now on to the try on part of our uh, video. and. I had my brother choose since there was like so many palettes and he chose the Doucet one. So this is the color story that we will be working with today. I like it. I think it's pretty. And that's actually like a black. It looks like real green right there, but it's a black. Inception. Look at that. Inception, Inception, Inception. Anyway, that. So first things first. I'm going to take a large flat shader brush and I'm going to dip into this color. I don't know what the number the color is, but it's this right here. So that one. Basically get it on the brush. I've already done my eyebrows and my primed my eyelids and basically this is just going to be our first layer to go on and just be like a little little buffer I guess I don't know I put it everywhere so that way all the colors get the same kind of effect with it and they blend a little bit better better since it's a uh, color layered on top of another color Okay, so we have our first color on. It went on very smooth and everything. So as you can see, it's not really patchy or anything. Just not a lot of kickback in the pan. Just it's going well. Next up, we're going to take our crease brush and we're going to dip into the next darker color here, which is like kind of like a brownish color. I don't know. I don't know what color they see. It's like a khaki brown kind of. Basically, we're going to start our crease. It's going on very nicely. Especially with this color underneath it. It's literally just going on perfectly. That's why I always like to have like a full base underneath. Okay, so now that we have that done, as you can see, it's nice and blended. It's beautiful. Take our next crease brush, and I'm going to dip into this matte color here. On the brush, 
and on the eye. And we're doing it in the lower part of our crease now. Let's see. So that way we get some more definition with it. See the difference okay so we have that color on it's blended everything is going very well so next up I think I want to dip into this color and maybe add a little bit of the black to it just to deepen it a little bit so color is going on super super that was mixing it with like like that much black and then putting it into the pan and mixing it up together and Now to blend. Okay, so we are back. We're blended. We got our cut crease put in. It looks like I'm missing some color here. Uh, let's see. Add just a tiny bit of color there. It looks weird now, but looks better than what it did did there we go fixed it kind of next up we're going to take an eyeshadow flat shading brush and I'm going to be dipping into this cold cold gold color so this is what's going to go on our eyes make them all nice and pretty basically you can do your cut crease, stamp it along your line. It's basically like it's basically like coloring in a coloring book. That's how I look at it anyway. And you just stamp it on there and then once you have it on you can actually start swiping it to give it more of the the sheen that comes with it as you can see So, I started recording, did this eye, but I wasn't recording. So, I'm going to take our flat shadow brush, and we're going to be dipping into this gold color right here, and basically turning our eye gold. I have no idea what's going on right now. Basically, what you want to do is you take it, you dip your brush into your shadow, you make sure it's on there, and because you're doing a cut crease, you like follow along the edge of the lines because it's like a, it's kind of like coloring in the book. And then once you're done, then you can actually start to do this, you know, brush it out so that way you get more of the sheen. 
hello as you can see we have added some foundation concealer I added some red on the end of the shadow added eyeliner next up we are going to be do going into the Tarte uh, shape tape setting powder and so it's already got some stuff on there I took the thing off if you yep. So, it has that little mesh basket in there. Like, I'm not a big fan of these, but we'll see how this goes. And basically, for me, with setting powder, I just like to, like, kind of, like, brush it on and cut and stamp it in at the same time. Basically, so that way it's just like a little setting finish to keep it in place. And that's what I like setting. So, it looks good. It doesn't look, you know, all super cakey or anything for now. Like, I like this so far. I'm down. I'm down, I'm down. Okay, let's see. I guess let's finish the rest of this eye look. And, um, okay, so I have my Sultry Smudge from MOTG. There's powder all over everything. Am I? Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, we are going to go first into this brown and then, then into this, like, mauve color for our under eyes. Basically, get it on your brush. Oh, I pressed the wrong color. Back on the brush. then after that we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to go into this plummy color here and we're just going to darken up the edges well darken up the inside See, next we're going to take our little, uh, for my little inner corner brush, little tiny brush, we're going to this white right here. And basically this is just going to make our inner corner pop. A lot of times I'll put like too much. I don't care, but you know, if you want to get it right, like. You see how much that just like opens up your eye. Just like, hello, I'm awake. <sighs> okay, let me go ahead, finish up blusher, bronzer. We'll come back and put that highlight on and everything. And yeah, I think we're almost done. Okay, so last but not least, we have... Oh, I don't think I like buffed that out enough. 
Buff it, buff it, buff it. Unless I just, I think I just did a really good job contouring. Kind of scary. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, highlighter, of course. So take my little highlighter brush, dip it in, and just swirl it. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to see. Let's see. Like this. Let me set mine up. Let me make sure it goes in like that. Now, as you can see, I do have three separate colors going on. So what I, what I like to do is I like to take a big old fluffy brush and make sure you just wipe it off on your towel so that way it's nice and clean. And I start off here at the top where my highlight is and I just like to blend everything together. So that way it's nice gradient going instead of like some super stark contrasting colors together so see that versus that and that versus that so go here and you take it at the highlighter point first and you start it in the inside of your face and work your way out just I don't know I've never done it from the outside in, though it just seems like counterproductive, basically. Did you see how that freaking just like smoothed it out? Oh my god, my nose itch is so bad right now. Oh, the brush is perfect for that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my uh, makeup tutorial and all my randomness. Um, let's see. So without the little kiki ears. Got our hair done. Look at that. So, this is the finished look using an eyeshadow palette and setting powder. And I also used the uh, the blending brush. I actually really, really, really liked it. So, I suggest that blending brush. Everything will be linked down below in the sections. I think I need to put some eyeliner in. I'm all looking at it and I'm just like, hey. Oh. Okay, so we have the eyeliner in and it looks a million times better. So, thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget to join me again next time. I hope to see you again.